Well, you can see that the COVID inspector slash quality control has arrived. So we're waiting to see if we can get clearance on this particular packing box. It looks like it's been dented on the bottom. So we may have to go back to the post office. Mm-hmm. We're waiting to hear from inspector number one. How does it look, Kit? Have you made your decision yet, old Kit? You're not sure? I promise you there is nothing in this box. But anyone who has a, oh, we have, we have approval. Do we have approval? <laughs> we have approval, okay. <laughs> okay, sweetie. Well, I am safe and sound at home in my creaky Windsor chair, sipping on a hot cup of something, and we'll talk a little bit about some of the pieces that I saw today in the thrift shop. Uh, Johnson Brothers, Old English Countryside. I know we were talking about Friendly Village a while ago. That's a pattern lots of folks enjoy. And then I saw this piece down here in a mid-century color. Um, leaning towards anchor hawking that looks a lot like and i always forget is it serrano or milano i or i i always get that wrong you can see i'm down on the floor and what do i see here oh a piece of delft i wasn't really sure about that i'm going to pick it up and take a look at the underside of it in just a second it's pretty i don't think i well, no, I know I didn't buy it, but I did like it. Made in Holland. And these uh, hand-painted plates were nice with the cherries on there. I think there were two or three. Uh, decorative, I suppose, rather than to actually eat off of. I remember, you know, there was so much on this particular shelf. What do I see? Oh, there's uh, Indiana glass. And if I remember that's called floral and pineapple, I, I always get that confused. Now I like that in amber, but I don't care for it so much in crystal. Now this egg we're gonna move and I immediately thought of uh, Georges Briard, which isn't his real name. I can't remember his real name. But it, it's not, at least it's not signed. It had wooden handles there. Very mid, very 1960s. How much is it? $6. It wasn't on sale, and I didn't buy that. I mean, I could have. Uh, definitely a, a Georges Briard kind of a piece from the 1960s. I kind of liked it. Didn't buy it though. Mm hmm. Mm, oh, there's that blue console bowl again. Really pretty color uh, in blue. And I think it's still at $10. It wasn't on sale. And again, I decided I would wait. I think I'll be able to grab it on half price day. I'm hiding it under that big shell. Oh yes, now I certainly recognize this as a piece of Falstoria. I can't remember the uh, the pattern on that. It's not chintz. I know the chintz pattern very well. It's the pattern my grandfather bought for my grandmother back in the 40s and we ate off of it every holiday. It's in my mother's china closet right now and I'm going to get her to talk about it one of these days. But a pretty piece of Faustoria in elegant glass. Now this I did buy. Uh, I still haven't looked it up. In fact, it's still out in the car. I think it's Cambridge. You know, they're not the only ones that made this beautiful blue color. Uh, several companies did. Duncan Miller made a, a blue such as this and so did Faustoria. I should know the pattern, but I can't remember. It's just, I just love that color two bucks put that in there next to the coffee 
Let me take a sip of my coffee, by the way. How's everybody doing? It has been one heck of... <coughs> excuse me. It's been one heck of a day. Now, this thing is a candlestick, and they we're going to turn it upside down. There you go. That's, uh, I want to say, oyster and pearl. Yes, if I remember correctly, I believe that's called oyster and pearl. But there's another pattern that looks very similar to it, and I always get it mixed up. Now, this looks like Anchor Hocking Bubble in crystal, but I don't think it is. It's a, uh, what is it, sort of the shape of either a leaf or an apple. I decided not to buy that. But I have a good time even when I don't buy too many things spinning around there and looking at all the floral vases hoping to find some green uranium. I'm ducking down and looking back there. This was a funny looking thing. It reminds me of a uh, <laughs> mat in a bathtub somewhere. I don't know. And that's, uh, that's nice, but uh, let's see, a cobalt bud vase. Mm -hmm. And there's, I think that's a piece of Avon. I didn't pick it up. Well, I do pick it up. Uh, probably the Avon in the ruby color. And uh, that thing was, well, I guess I'll go back to it. Now, something's fishy with that. I'm going to let you see the inside looks like milk glass. And then there's a tag on it. I think I'm going to bring it into the camera there for a second. Uh, there we go. We'll let it focus. I haven't looked up glass creations by Larry. I don't know who Larry is, but I think that's a, is that an anchor hocking vase? I, th I think it's a vase made by someone else that Larry has decorated. That's not old, but it sure does look like it's got some uranium in it, doesn't it? Well, I've gone to the uh, crystal aisle here. Uh, aha, there we go. There's Anchor Hocking. Now that's called Old Cafe in Crystal. I sold a few pieces of that in uh, Ruby Red at Christmas time. In the mid uh, 1930s, 40s pattern by Anchor Hocking. That's a federal piece. I like that. It's kind of deco. I don't know the name of the pattern on that but it is a federal piece I think you saw the F in the shield now that's not old the piece that had the frosted fruit in the middle of it mm -hmm. now let's see what am I gonna come across next oh there's a uh, bicentennial plate you know I recorded this this morning I went out to my shop around nine o'clock this morning and uh, I'm just now watching this at oh seven o'clock at night so I'm forgetting everything I saw this morning doing a voiceover aha now what is it well it's either uh, Miss America or English Hobnail English Hobnail by Westmoreland or England or uh, Miss America by uh, Anchor Hocking now this piece threw me off what what do you, you you see it and you immediately say oh that's open lace by um, uh, uh, anchor hawking or also called old colony Anch uh, old colony but look at the bottom it is polished anchor hawking didn't do that and to my knowledge they didn't make open lace in a green in that particular color they made it in pink and I believe in crystal as well many companies made imitations to old col to old colony slash open lace but um boy i'm really taking a look at this because it's i've never seen it in that color so what am i saying i don't think it's anchor hawking's open lace i think it's made by somebody else i think it's got a little bit of uranium in it and I'm going to put it in my cart and bring it home. It's actually out in the car. I still haven't brought it in the house because I got tangled up with other things. But I can't wait to do some research on it and try to figure out who made it. And uh, 
I do believe there's probably a little bit of uranium in that, so it's probably going to glow under a black light. Okay, well, you know, everybody, I'm staying positive. I, I really wasn't going to post this tonight after I came home and got tangled up in the news, but um, I'm remaining positive. I hope you guys are too. And now that's a divided dish. Recognize that pattern. That's old Cape Cod. No, yes, yes, Cape Cod. Made by Imperial, I think from the early 30s all the way up until the 1980s. Yeah. But, um, so, I hope this gives everyone something. Maybe you've turned off the news by now and, and um, you know, end your night on something positive. Doesn't have to be watching me. Maybe it's some beautiful music that you love or some scriptures that you love or some meditation. Now look, talking about open lace, that's definitely Anchor Hawking's open lace, our old colony. And there it is in crystal. And I know I'm going to show you it looks just like... I'm baffled. It looks just like that piece down there in green, but I'm telling you, Anchor Hawking didn't make open lace in green, unless I just have been misinformed my whole life. So I put that one plate back. Uh, I will buy Old Colony occasionally if it's in uh, pink. And if my old college roommate is watching, he collects it. Now, I should know that pattern, and I can't remember. I do think it's a 30s pattern, 30s, 40s pattern. I just can't remember the name of it. But as I was saying, everybody, um, end your night on a positive note today, okay? We're going to get there. We're going to be okay. This, I was hoping, was 1930s Art Deco. It's not. So, I put it back. But I do always look over there in the aluminum, chrome, silver plate aisle. Sometimes I do find some real treasures over there. And sometimes I find nothing. Nut, nut, nothing. Now I'm going to zip through the dish aisle, I think, fairly quickly. Oh, there's a uh, little Japan piece. There's some luster on there. A little bit of luster wear, a nice painted scene. I don't think I purchased it, but it was cute. It was cute. Okay, now I am in a totally different store. Okay, I've moved to another location. And I am whipping that camera all around. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> but I, I left the first Goodwill and went to a second one. I know that. And let's just see what happens. Oh, there we go. Okay, now I remember. Isn't this crazy? There's another piece of anchor hocking. Open lace in pink. Yeah. Ah, you know, I can't wait to try to figure out what that green thing is that I've got out in the car. And I'm looking at this very closely because many times uh, this won't be chipped but there will be fractures in those little, in all, you see all that open lace? It gets, you know, dinged around in cabinets and whatnot. And there will be little cracks. I don't know if I'm going to show you, but there was a couple of cracks in a few of the little uh, pieces of the open lace. And so I decided not to buy that because it wasn't in perfect condition. But that's a real anchor hocking open lace. That's not an old piece, and it's not, uh, <laughs> well, you can see there, if you look closely, it's a flashed on, and it's chipping off on the bottom, so an inexpensive piece of glass, and not one that's very old, and so I left it there, and I, I kept on shopping. Hello, Salem. Salem has just come up to greet me. What is it? I can't. This has to be the open lace. I promise you I'm in two different shops. I really, really am. And uh, I don't know. Maybe somebody dropped off a few boxes in one shop and a few boxes in another. 
Sometimes when it doesn't sell in one store, they'll ship it off to another, but I, they weren't both good wills. Now that is called uh, heritage. I can remember the name of the pattern, but I can't remember who made it. It's a late mid-30s into the 40s pattern. Heritage, I believe. I just can't remember who made that. Salem is getting back in his sleeping tent. There's a piece of glass in the sandwich pattern. Okay, can I do this quickly? Uh, Anchor Hawking made it, Duncan Miller made it, and one more company, I think Indiana. Uh, I'm going to put it down because it was not Duncan Miller. Now, the Duncan Miller sandwich glass is the best, I have to say. It's, it's much higher quality than the Hawking uh, or the Indiana sandwich. Uh, yes, okay, grill plates, uh, I did buy those, and I'm trying to remember the name uh, of that pattern, Let, I think I, I think that's called, uh, Royal Lace by Hazel Atlas, um, I'm, I think that's Hazel Atlas Royal Lace, I could have that wrong. I'll do the research later, but I think that's what that is. It's a pattern I don't find much. And they're grill plates. Someone asked me why are they called grill. Well, it doesn't have anything to do with a barbecue grill. There's the grill in it, which separates the, place, the plate into three portions. So you picky eaters can put your meatloaf in one spot, and your mashed potatoes and your green peas will not touch each other. I know. Mm-hmm. I wasn't allowed to be a fussy eater like that. No. <laughs> my father wouldn't put up with that. Okay, Anchor... Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay. Yes, Anchor Hawking. Deviled Egg Milk Glass Gilded Edges. It was $3, and I put it down. The majority of them are going to sell for between 99 cents and five bucks. Occasionally you'll see a crazy person who spends 30 bucks for one, but they just don't bring much on the internet. There's a child's uh, little baby dish missing the cork. Put the hot water in there to keep that. So yeah, they, they just don't, um, I'm not knocking it. I love deviled eggs and it's a pretty plate, but as a business person, I really can't make any, any decent profit off of that piece. So I did leave it there and I think that's almost it for this shopping trip. Well, before I close tonight, everyone, and Salem gives that last little tiny meow, I just want to say thank you for watching and I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I know this was a difficult day in our country uh, and I'd like to leave you with a little poem. This morning I was actually reading an old, well, it's, let's see, February of 1958. It's called The Daily Word. Uh, it's a little devotional. This happens to be, as I said, one from 1958. And there's a little poem in there uh, called I Need Not Wait. The poem is uh, by R. H. Grenville, G-R-E-N-V-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. And I just want to read it to you. I Need Not Wait by R. H. Grenville. I need not wait for snows to melt before I start to sing. I do not need the proof of leaves to make me sure of spring. For April is a state of heart, a season I have found, that those who are in love with life enjoy the whole year round. Come sun or snow, come rain or shine. It is good to be alive, deep rooted in the Father's love. I reach and grow 
and thrive. Each cell a tingle, nerve attuned, renewed in every part. I need not wait for snows to melt to have an April heart. I hope you enjoyed that. I want to say thank you for watching everyone and I appreciate you. Okay everybody, if you're watching this at night, pleasant dreams and I'll see you tomorrow. Yes, don't forget, come back again. I'm gonna be certain to bring you that uh, depression glass, part two, three, four, five. We'll just see how long it goes. But that's it for now. This is Scott in Salem saying thanks for watching and so long for now.